Hi guys, welcome to another fun episode of Anna Vlogs. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for coming back to watch another video. And if this is your first video, you are so welcome. So guys, we have a new subscriber. His name is Ibrahim Issa, I think. So I tried to find the name again. I couldn't find it, but thank you so much for subscribing. We love you. You're welcome to the Anna Vlogs family. Okay, so guys, so the topic of today. Okay, so in that excitement, my mic fell off. So, to the topic of today, let's get to it. So, we're talking about how to become a professional model. So, for those of you who don't know, I used to be a model. And in some ways, I think I'm, I'm still a model because if a job comes now, and I feel like I would probably go for the casting. So, I used to model. I used to act. Um, maybe at some point in my life, I will go back to it just because I can, not because of anything, just because I can. So, or maybe have my kids do it, depending, I don't know, when the time comes. We will know for sure. So, the main topic, how to become a professional model. So, let me talk about how I became a model. So, while I was younger, a lot of people used to tell me, oh, you have nice figure, you have figure eight, why don't you model? Hourglass, why don't you model? And I'm like, okay. Why are you not doing an ushering job? So ushering job is a thing. They always think it's only models that can do ushering job, but anybody can do ushering job, but they just feel like models stand a higher chance. And that's because a lot of these event planners always want model looking ladies. So that because models and ushers are basically part of the decoration will beautify the event. If you don't know that, know this now for free. So you beautify the event when you look nice in your makeup, just standing there and somebody can call your attention to something. So they like that for their events. So ushering job and modeling was one of the things I was told to do. So eventually I started with ushering job because the modeling thing wasn't working for me because I met a lot of scams. Um, I met a few people that would come and be like, oh, you, you have very nice shape. You're very pretty, very nice legs. Um... I run an agency, so why don't you come and model for me? There was a time I went to beggar with one of my friends. And this guy was a scam. He said he was doing an interview for us. That's a story I'm not ready to talk about because all I can say is God saved us. So you need to be you need to be wary of these guys when you want to model because there are a lot of scams out there. I said he was doing he said he was doing a test for us. Apparently, a lady just left, and she also she was on the bigger side. She also came for the same modeling thing, and he said he had tested her, that she needed to be sensual, and this and that. I just told myself, this is no way I want to be, like, a big. And I got up from there and left there, me and my friend, when year one was at the time. And then we met another person who said, this one met us maybe in church or somewhere, and said, oh, you guys are perfect. For models this 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 and then he'll be trying to touch us to say to make up the central and i'm like this is not what i'm here for left that one too so i stopped the whole modeling thing because there were too many bad experiences and then i was just in year one and me i was not ready to lose my virginity to some random so someone i don't know or maybe someone just gonna use it for ritual just because you're trying to become a model. So I'm trying to help you and prevent you from being in such a condition or such a place. So by the time I got to my final year, I had this friend at Dewo was working with a TV station, so he introduced me to his agent. So um Ike models. So Ike started getting me trying to get me jobs. But every time I went for the shoots, for the no, for the casting, because you must do a casting, you must go for an audition and get picked for a for if you're trying to be a commercial model, because there are different types of models. So if you're trying to be a commercial model, 
you need to go for casting whatever whatever genre of modeling you want to go to whatever whatever your niche is to be precise you still need to go for casting mm -hmm. especially if you don't have a manager and agent so even if you have an agent say for a manager you still go for casting except they've already seen your profile and they specifically want you for this job guys look at my pizza guys i let my pizza burn Fit it up in the air fryer. All right. Where were we? So, so Ike became my agent. Normally, you're supposed to sign contracts with these people. So I think one of my uncles even tried to get me an agent with um Kele Chamadi Obi. I think their name was K something. I do not remember. But this one said I should pay money for something. And I think after my experiences in year one i learned that you should not pay anybody anything to become something don't give anybody money to become an actress to become a model to become an usher they are all scams if i tell you they tell you to bring money for anything don't answer it's a scam because real agents will not tell you to pay anything and or they would decide to take it off your first payment so and they always do they will take money from your payment for every job you get they take so what are you paying to register with them for? Anyways, that was how it was done in my day, and I think it's still done the same way. So don't pay anybody for anything. So um Ike became my agent. I was going for castings, especially glow castings, glow commercials, but I never got the job. Reason was I always had on too much makeup. Too much makeup. It's, and it wasn't that I I I wanted to do the makeup, but I just wanted to be the best. You get and you will get because when you get there you will meet professionals of all sorts male and female and you'll be like they're not even going to look my way because i don't even look the part like you 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 would, they would oppress you they would oppress you without having to talk to you like you feel oppressed when you see some girls with banging bodies clear skin like you'll be like i'm going back home i'm not doing this thing again so they didn't used to pick me, but I didn't stop going. I still used to try to come. So fast forward to when I was almost done with school. Um, I was in my boyfriend's house. Apparently the casting had been going on for a while, but I didn't know about it. So I was in my boyfriend's house as at the time. So he couldn't take me back to school to pick up new outfits to go for the audition and to do my makeup and all that. So there was an audition and then i told my friends about it and they all said oh they had heard about it and they've all gone for it but they didn't pick them so they are still casting for it it was an etel job i'm like ah yeah, i'm just hearing I'm like oh yeah go now so he didn't want to take me back to school he wanted us to just go straight to the audition and he said okay okay so i love food like if you don't know me know this now the way to my heart is food it's not like I just want to eat everything. It's not like I can eat so much or anything like that, but I love the idea of food. But I can't really eat so much, but I love the idea of it. So I like just seeing food, basically. Food that I like. Pizza, ice cream, salad, salad. I love a lot of those. So, um, yeah. So he, we made a deal that if I got the job, he'll, still, he'll get me one pizza. If I didn't get the job because I didn't dress properly you'll get me two uh two pizza like two packs of pizza and ice cream cold stone I said okay let's go now guys i was going to the audition <coughs> i was looking dead i'm sorry to say let me look for a better word i looked horrible so i wore these dirty dead and gone rubber slippers those slippers they used to sell back that time when the rain is falling wearing rubber slippers Rubber sandals, because it was a sandal. I wore that. I wore this um, wine pants that my mom gave me, because I stick her clothes, because we're like the same size, or almost the same size, and most of her clothes to fit me. So. so I wore that wine pants. In fact, the shirt still belonged to my mom. So I took that from her too. So I wore that. Then I packed my hair. I think my hair was natural then no it wasn't i don't remember but i packed my hair basically and it was it was due no it wasn't it wasn't it wasn't natural as at the time it was just due it wasn't properly relaxed so it was it was tangling i just packed it 
roughly and then we went. No one I was going to meet and then I got there. Hmm. You see the girls that were walking in. Shame will catch you. You will go back to your house. Oh my god. It was so bad. Like these girls were hot. The perfumes, the way they look, the way their hair works, you would know that these are models. And they know each other. So all of them were like, Hi, how are you? Long and they were oh, me, I just sat down, very timid and humble. I'm praying to my heavenly father because I did not know anybody, and this wasn't this casting wasn't from Ike. I was I like I didn't even know what to do. I was just sitting there. I didn't know anything. But before this audition, the last audition I went to with Ike for another job. Um, I don't remember the company. I don't remember the company. But he he told me he was telling he was telling the the casting guys because he, he has had they picked a lot of his models right over time because i'm working with them they're asking them like what ah, you don't see this girl this girl fine now why do they ever pick her why do they? i say they were not like why she said work on top you know say she'll be fine girl like she'll be fine girl but we can't see her face we can't really tell who she is because and i i used to wear medicated contacts and i switched to non-medicated so i used to go off and on and then sometimes i just stop so she's like and i think my contact then was gray or blue or something so like why should they wear contact why she wear plenty makeup we want to see her real face we want to see her real skin we want to know what she really looks like if she really be fine girl not that so when you're coming next time don't worry, but just put her name down she didn't call me back they didn't get back to me but she has said what she wanted to see so fast forward to this etel casting so apparently they had been casting for like two or three months but they haven't found the people they wanted so they had picked a few ladies and they had made their hair the week before the week before i came or a few days before i came for that casting so when all this down this one was a closed casting with the clients very close so but um we're not as many as we usually would like hundreds or two hundreds of people but right now we're very few like 10 20 people that's girls and boys together so they looked at us and they said you 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 step forward no we should all stand because the client was there so they did the uh point and cue thing and then they said you 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 step forward they looked at them turn around turn around bye 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 the rest of you then they picked again you 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 okay you go this way go this way go this way and they told me to go this way i said yes okay i'm going home and they told the rest to go they had selected me guys joy like a river my first job i didn't care how much it was i was just happy and excited that it was my first job like and i was looking dead you can see all the fine girls you know i was standing and i was asking my boy you know how girls stand when they take pictures and they want their body to 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 look very they want to look like they have bigger bum and they all bend one leg i was really trying to do that and i was putting my hand and be like see i have waists they have everything i don't know what to do but i told god god please let me get this job at least this time let me get this one and just my luck i was selected and immediately they said okay go downstairs and do your hair shoot it on monday so you have to go down to do your hair i'm like what is that how it is done hey my boyfriend was downstairs waiting for me with his friends. I went down like, ah, they're not picking you. Let's go. Don't worry. I'll buy you. I said, no, they fixed me. He said, you see, I told you they're picking like that. <laughs> so excited. So they fixed me. I said, okay, he will go and do what he's doing. Then he'll come back and pick me. Then I went down. Then I made my hair. And then I made new friends. And that was how I started my modeling career. And my acting career. That one too is another story. I think I have similar stories with the modeling and the acting. Anyway, that's how I started my modeling career. And all my friends had gone for the audition that didn't get picked. I was in this job. Like, I was excited. And I wasn't an extra because they made my hair. Even if my agent scammed me then, that's another topic for another day. So it's possible for your agents to scam you. Anyways, Ike was not my agent for that job. But I did get other jobs from him. And I'm not going to talk about the agent for that job. So let's say that. But a lot of the models told me a few things I needed to know at that time. 
and to not let the guys scam me and this is the amount and this that 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 that, that, that and a lot of things happen so i'm not going to give all that breakdown because that's in the past let's talk about the future so now to be a professional model you need to know what type of model you want to be now some models do both some models are just face models they do for makeup artists and some um some other brands some photographers that are doing for maybe um uh they're doing for brands and it's just their face they need some models that hand models some models are fit models some models do basic strictly commercials i'm one of i one of them strictly commercials that's tv commercials some models do um fashion models are fashion models like me i i used to also do that fashion models where you model for fashion brands outfits and all that you model their outfit and you take your picture and you put up on different social media platforms some models are runway models so you just need to decide what you want to do so you and if you really do not know much about it when you start you would get more ideas and which brand fits you the most which brands do keep for you so you get to know some models are hair models so there are different parts and you can be everything depending on your body shape and size so you can be a runway model a runway model and still be a commercial model and still be a fashion model and still be a face model because you, have, you might have that very unique face that they want to use you have those perfect hands that they want those perfect legs that they want the perfect body so you never can tell you can be everything and then you can still be one or two so now so with runway models they always say that they want five uh, 11 to six three they always need them to be tall or sometimes five nine to six three or something for females for male i think they are taller and all that and more beaut or skinny depending on what they want but in all honesty i am five six but i tell you everybody i'm five seven because it's just one one point so I always say I'm 5'7", but I'm actually 5'6". Five, 5'7". Six. Five, Sometimes I even pretend like I'm 5'8". And my friends say, oh gosh, reduce your height, you are short. We know. So, but I look tall, so you won't even question it when I say I'm like 5'7". So, um, height is one of the things for runway models and commercial models. They always need tall people. But not all the adverts. Some adverts, they don't care. And fashion models, sometimes they don't need tall models. They, want, they don't care what your height is, as long as you have the body, the banging body. So you need to hit that gym if you need to. You need to reduce the amount of food you are eating, whichever one. I used to be really slim then. But I had the curvatures, the breast, and the bum bum, the everything. <laughs> then it is also important that you have your picture. So you need a five by six picture and you need a headshot, studio pictures, because you need soft copies to present to agents. That they would use to tell clients that okay they have you as a model you're the one they're representing you so you will need that you need your pictures the pictures is what are what they would use to cast you, you need to look nice in the pictures not so much makeup but nicely done makeup very simple in fact this lipstick is a lot on a normal day i'll use my regular very simple lipstick and this makeup is fine for your shoots you look nice you edit your picture take it and you post and you give it to your agent you use and Present it to the clients for them to cast you. Then your headshots, so they need headshots because you need to see your skin. So it is important that you work on your skin. You need to have clear skin because your skin is important. Now, you need to constantly edit the pictures. You need to always have an updated one. So every year, do a new shoot. That's if you start getting jobs, do a new shoot so you can have a new look. Change your look once in a while, diversify so that they can pick you. You never can tell what role they want you for. So as a young model, I think I was like 20, 21, that age. And sometimes I could pass for a 30 year old. I'll just say I'm 30. Although they used to ask, but I'll just say I'm 30 because nobody's asking for my passport. Even if sometimes they can, some companies will ask, but eh, I'll still say I'm 30. And then they just believe because I'll look the part because I've dressed the part. So I already know what makes me look older. And so if they want someone younger, I'll still pass have that kind of look and that kind of body so you need to constantly improve on your look constantly improve on your body so you look the part then go for castings when you get to castings don't keep to yourself make friends meet people so that they can join into their groups so that when there are jobs that don't involve 
all these agents you can do them actually if you're assigned to a comp if you're not signed to a company a particular agent you need to make friends so that they can tell you when their jobs or if they have good agents they can refer you to their agents so that the agents can be giving you jobs now um you also need to yeah talk about meeting friends uh, so that they can join you to their group and all those so that's basically all i have for you in this vlog i hope this video helps you i hope you have someone that you know or your child or whoever is trying to be a model i hope this helps you so i'm going to do more videos on this so watch out for my next one if you stayed up to this up to this part of the video i really appreciate you you're the realest thank you so much for watching please don't forget to give the video a thumbs up share and leave a lovely comment for me it can be on anything and don't forget to subscribe please hit the notification bell so that you know when i post a new video thank you so much for watching i love you to my next one bye, -bye.